So local Menards, which is a large home improvement store here in the Midwest, have these easy guards. So that actually lines the hole here, the hole that you drilled out, and that's why I drilled out the inch and one eighth. That is the side needed for these easy guards, but it lines it with your nailer plate opposed to putting that nailer plate on the outside surface. So all you do is place that within the one and one eighth inch of hole, give it a little tap, And now you have a plastic bushing and also an integrated nailer plate. So if any fasteners came from the outside, they would hit that metal housing opposed to your Romex. These make for a super clean and well-protected install. And you'll see a link in the description to these just in case you don't have a Menards in your area. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you going with the easy guards or maybe just sticking with standard nailer plates? Also, you'll see a link right below the video in the description if you want a reference to the exact products I was using. If you want to dive deeper, comparing the nailer plates compared to just drilling a hole and what electrical code and building code should you be following when you're running Romex through your framing, check out the video right here. We'll show you those three different options you have and speak to both of those codes. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.